Subway. Whoa! Sonic CD! There he is! CD! Alright guys, we're finally doing it. The best Sonic game of all time! Or so I'm told. Alright, so I presume this takes place at the end of- Oh no! So, oh, he's got the Chaos Emeralds. Well, I didn't get them in Sonic 2, so canonically you should just fall into the ocean and drown, if you ask me. Uh, oh! It's Captain Knuckles! Well, already I like the way that this uh, differentiates itself. <laughs> it's still a grass level, but this one's got palm trees. So immediately again, the music in this is instantly iconic. I have heard probably all the songs in this game millions of times. Uh, never intentionally, like I never went out of my way to listen to them. I've just, oh, just, you know, people use the music from this game in like videos all the time. To be honest, I should do that too. <laughs> Wahoo! Yippee! So that's not Eggman. It's just a freaking machine of some sort. Oh. Uh. Oh, damn. Well, everything's on fire now, I guess. Can I go in? I can. Bonus stage. Okay, so it's just like Sonic 2. What? 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 <laughs> Wait, is this just for like extra lives or whatever? Is this not, is it? This isn't how you get the Chaos Emeralds in this game, I don't think. I think you gotta do the... The ball run of some sort or something. Oh, well, all right. Yeah, I feel like that's different in this game. I think you have to find giant rings. So I got a little story to tell you about this game. Uh, when I was a kid, I kind of half mentioned this in uh, Sonic 2 playthrough or maybe my Sonic CD one, I can't remember. But I owned as a kid these books that were like, Where's Sonic and Where's Sonic Now? Particularly Where's Sonic Now, which is basically a Where's Waldo style book based on Sonic 3. Oh, is it boss time already? That was really short. There we go, yeah! Oh. Oh, a water shield. Where'd that come from? Oh, and a fire shield. What's happening? This game is very quick. I mean, it's only Act 1, I suppose, but Act 1 sort of had two acts in itself. Well, that's kind of awesome. Oh, look at that. Transitions right into the next stage. Anyway, so yeah, <laughs> as I was trying to say, I had this book that, like, kind of showcased... Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, I know what to do with this. Yeah, I had this book that had all the zones in it, but they weren't all the zones. They were just fucking... I'll put some of them on screen, but it, like, it kind of follows the game, but also kind of doesn't. To me, that's what Sonic 3 was, was all those, uh, weird stages. And some of them have really really strange names and it's I don't know it's kind of surreal sorry I'm concentrating really hard on this level but yeah I just wanted to share that it's a weird tidbit from my childhood it was literally all I knew about Sonic 3 and Knuckles uh, for a very long time is what I'm trying to say I grew up on this weird ass fucking where's Waldo style book oh I did it Jesus Christ, that was hard even with the rewind. I thought this would be the easiest bonus stage to do. I was thinking that the real challenge for this game in terms of bonus stages would be just finding the things because I have no idea where any of them are. All my knowledge of Sonic 3 comes from a fucking inaccurate children's book. That's all I wanted to say. Oh, I lost my flame shield in the water. Oh, bubble shield. So does this make it so maybe I don't drown? That'd be nice. So also my knowledge on this game it is kind of scattered uh, in terms of exactly like what this is and how it works. So correct me if I'm wrong, again I think I said this in an earlier video. So they were making Sonic 3 and it was getting too big and they were like man we kind of need to split this up into two games. So they did. They split it up into Sonic and Sonic and Knuckles. Two different games. But if you wanted to play the original vision, which was just the one full giant game, you lock them on with the the classic lock-on technology, which I think only worked for basically just <laughs> these games. You could play the full experience called Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which is what I'm playing now, I think? And you could kind of consider this like a definitive version of sorts. But I also found out that like apparently not really also, like apparently just Sonic 3 and maybe also just Sonic and Knuckles, they actually have like slight differences for a few things, but at least that's my understanding. I don't know, as someone again who never grew up with any kind of Sega console, shit, it's very difficult for me to wrap my head around, I guess, by just like kind of hearing about it and piecing it together. I could just look it up, but uh, ah, so this was on one of the freaking pages of my book. So there's something else I was gonna say, it's really surreal for me to see these things, like this ship here and the enemies and stuff, in the actual original form that they were in, like the video game rather than the book that I grew up with. Like I saw those monkeys from coconuts out of those damn trees, but I had no idea what the actual game was like, and so now seeing all these enemies that 
are ingrained in my mind and whatever. Like, I'm sure, like, nobody can relate to that. <laughs> this really specific thing. But I'm just trying to convey how surreal and weird it is for me. Because, again, like the other games, I've seen people play this game before. And I, I do know a bit about it, like I do with Sonic 1 and 2. Oh, Knuckles. You stay away from that freaking button, bro. What the heck? Hydrocity. I was watching a review of uh, Sonic 2 last night because now that I've been kind of playing these games, I've been like being able to go back and watch videos, oh my god, that I couldn't fully appreciate before because I hadn't actually played, you know, these Sonic games yet. Now that I have, I, uh, I can appreciate what people say. Oh my god, it's so weird seeing these enemies in actual games. Oh, Bubble Shield, okay. I'm hoping this makes it so I don't drown. That would be what I like. Oh, he got the bubble. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe I don't I don't need uh, air, which would be amazing. Be the best freaking shield in the game if that was the case. So I understand that yeah, that's the thing they added in this game was the elemental shields. I'm pretty sure it's just there's electric fire and bubble. Electric works like it does in the adventure games, which is that it attracts rings. That's my presumption, of course. I don't actually know. Fire makes you immune to fire, and I guess bubble lets you breathe underwater infinitely, I'm hoping. But yeah, I was watching like a review of Sonic 2, and one of the things they were saying is that, like, uh, in terms of the water levels, an improvement over Sonic 1 is that in Sonic 1, you were kind of forced to go through the water no matter what, but in Sonic 2, there was like an upper path that if you were skilled enough, you could avoid the water. And I really like that idea. And it's kind of weird to see that now in this game. Oh, you're gonna die? <laughs> yeah, in this in this level, you it appears at least you're kind of forced to be in the water, which, you know, is a bit of a shame, I guess. I mean, I guess the bubble shield certainly helps because now not having to worry about drowning <laughs> makes these levels a little bit more tolerable, I guess, but. I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 no, come on, dude. Oh, all right, I'm getting the hang of it now. Okay, okay. Learning when to to tap is kind of a shit. When you guys think bonus stage in a game, do you think of a really hard challenge or like a fun little area to get extra lives? Because I kind of think of a fun little area to get extra lives. I suppose that this game has both. It's got the the one in the checkpoint and the one in, well, this. <laughs> this is a challenge in order to, you know, get all the Chaos Emeralds, which of course is like supposed to be hard because, you know, like unlocking Supersonic or whatever. Shouldn't be an easy feat. Yeah, okay, that, I didn't have to rewind very much at all on that one. God, I will say it is so satisfying getting Chaos Emeralds in all of these games. Uh, apart from Sonic CD, it's not fun at all to get Chaos Emeralds. It's fun to get time stones. Sonic has a, a new design, slightly, and I gotta say, I am very indifferent. <laughs> I guess the, the first one to me is, what the, oh, that's, that's, I gotta bounce. They added the freaking bounce into this game. Was this here from the original? I did not know that was in this at all. Yeah, look at that, one cycle, baby. <laughs> now I ask you this, if each level transitions to the next, how the heck are Rooney am I gonna go to the next level from in here? Does the floor open up or something or? I, oh. All right, it didn't quite open up. I just kind of went through it. Wait till the last second. Yeah, I gotta make it more dramatic. Get the Sonic. Please. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have dillied or dallied. I will say, I really do love the level transitions. I'm sure everyone and their mother has talked about it before. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's talked about it before, but the level transitions are super cool and inspired. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I wish they'd bring it back. And I know what you're gonna say is like, well, some games kind of did. Yeah, kinda. Oh my god. <laughs> hey! But I always think about, like, Sonic Heroes, where each of those levels seems so completely disconnected to each other, and just a random string of levels that I don't... I don't get it. Like, why, at the very least, in Sonic Heroes, the different teams didn't at least do levels in a slightly different order, I'll never understand. Just to mix it up a little bit, but, ah, uh, you know, this isn't Sonic Heroes. I might as well bring it up now that, speaking of Sonic Heroes, and I guess other Sonic games just in general, I was kind of thinking that maybe after I finished all the classic games, and I might also do Mania after this, we'll see, we'll see. I've been really looking forward to it, and I was kind of thinking, I should probably do it on camera, do my first ever play for Mania like I did with all these games. Good lord, dude, you're going way too freaking fast here, man. <laughs> do like that I haven't had to uh, get bubbles, air bubbles very much in this level, which is a vast improvement over 
Sonic 1, regardless of how you look at it. Um, but I was kind of thinking, like, I don't know, if people really like these uh, videos, maybe I'll go ahead and just keep playing Sonic games in uh, release order. Even though I have played Sonic Adventure probably 50 times and Sonic Adventure 2 probably 100 times. If people are interested, I wouldn't mind keep playing Sonic games. The only difference is it wouldn't have that uh, alluring clickbait title of playing the game for the first time ever because <laughs> I wouldn't be. But again, like I said, I've been recording all these games months and months and months and possibly even basically a year in advance. Oh, so I have no idea what the reception of these videos is at all. It's very possible and maybe even likely that nobody is watching these videos at all and I've just been producing them and people are like, why does he keep making these videos? <gasps> Knuckles! Don't press that! No! Wow, that was a really dramatic falling animation. <laughs> well, you know, I'm having fun with them. Oh, what's it gonna be this time, Eggmund? Some kind of machine. Alright, alright. Can I, like, jump on that? Is it like cat bat? Shout out to all the people out there who know what the fuck cat bat is. I gotta say, this one's this one's got a little bit more of a challenge to it. A little bit more waiting at the very least. Although I wonder if I'm doing this fight correctly. I feel like that there should be more opportunities to hit him like that. But I'm just not getting them. Yeah, look at that. Just like in the simulations. Marble Garden Zone. Now I'm familiar with this one. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're going down now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a tall level. Oh my goodness gracious. Explain to me how that's fair right there. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's a little springy spike. Uh, it's very default Dan of you, Sonic. Oh, okay, so the spinning top. I've seen people uh, use it, but I don't understand how it works. How do you go up? I think I kind of get it. It's really hard to, to explain. It's, uh, you kind of gain and lose momentum. Okay, I'm getting off this thing. That's very strange. I, I don't know how to, how to feel about that, to be honest. Oh, what? This is just a wall? Oh, oh, okay, no, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. Ah! Again, maybe it's just because of uh, my nostalgia for that book, but I really do love the enemy design in this game. <laughs> Look at this mf -er. Ooh, I want that. Yay! I love the Thunder Shield. Oh! Oh, I found a secret. I didn't even mean to. Nice. Okay, we're at three already. Here's a fun fact that I get, bet you guys didn't know that I weirdly know for some reason. Apparently, each one of these stages is actually color coordinated to the stage that you find it in, if that makes sense. So, like, it, it has these colors specifically because I'm here in the Marble Garden Zone, I think. I could be wrong about that. I'm almost certain I'm right though, because I'm I'm usually right about everything. This has gotta be it. Yeah! Okay, again, I'm getting better at these. Ah, god damn it. These freaking spike balls, dude. I don't like them. I feel like they always just kind of come out of nowhere. God damn. How many secret stages in one level is there, or one act, or whatever? Like, is there multiple hidden special stages in one zone? When I say special stages, I'm talking about blue balls or whatever the fuck it's called. Tails, you ain't doing fucking shit with that thing. You suck, dude. Shit, did I, did I still need the spinning top here? Uh-oh. <laughs> we can get it through the power of rewind technology. Uh, there it is. <laughs> No! I, uh, I've been recording the, each one of these games, uh, each freaking day this week. No. Oh. oh, I didn't even... <laughs> what the... Wait, whoa, 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 what is this? So I played Sonic 2 on, uh, Tuesday, Sonic CD on Wednesday, and today is Thursday. Oh, it's this freaking guy again. Get out of here, dummy. So you get mini bosses, it seems, that are all just robots, which honestly, I, I think is super cool. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> but yeah, I've been recording every day this week playing these games. After each recording session, my voice is pretty dead, I'll admit, because I've been kind of doing it every day. I was a bit worried about this uh, this one because not only is this the last game that I'm going to play, I mean, maybe I'll play many. I, again, I'm not sure. I probably will. So again, to my understanding, this game is also like twice as long as your regular Sonic game, simply because it's technically two games in one. So basically, I got to strain my voice for way longer today. <laughs> yeah, these guys, these are in my book. Oh, what? I, this was a secret? Okay. <laughs> I swear I don't know where these are. I'm just running around and just finding things, I guess. Okay, now the background is actually different, so I, I'm not actually 100% sure anymore. I swear that there's something with the, the color scheme and the levels 
they do equate to the levels themselves. I'm, I'm sure about it, but maybe not the one you're playing? Like, this is like Carnival Night or whatever it's called? Can I just do this? Is this gonna be the most satisfying thing in the world? Oh, please. Oh, please. Come on. Yes! Ah, oh, that's so good. Yeah. Again, I, I'm getting better at these. These are, like, the first one was weirdly the hardest for me. <laughs> We actually might get supersonic in this game because there's so many levels and I presume opportunities get them. <laughs> like I was saying, I kind of feel like supersonic should not be one of the first things you get <laughs> in your first playthrough, that is. Like the thing is, is like, I feel like supersonic is like, it's a good reward for like knowing the game and like, like being good at it and stuff. And I feel like if you just kind of randomly stumble upon it, oh my God, in your first playthrough, it, it just, I don't know, it doesn't feel right. Like I feel like if I unlock supersonic, I probably won't use him just because, I don't know, it doesn't feel right to do. In a second playthrough, for sure, but the first one? I don't know, it doesn't feel genuine, you know? Was it gonna be Drill Dozer again? Oh, well, yeah, technically. <laughs> ah, a little checked point, you say. Ah! Again, I I'm really starting to subscribe to my theory that Sonic games are best played on with multiple playthroughs, of just like knowing where certain enemies and hazards and pathways are, as opposed to kind of going at it blind. It it's interesting. I'm not trying to say that I'm not enjoying myself, I definitely am. But, uh, just sort of one of those interesting things where, like, the level design seems to really favor the, yeah, kind of replaying, which I like, honestly. Replayability in it. Uh... Hello? What? Hey, Tails! Because, I mean, I like replayability in games like this. Like I've said, in between each game, I've had, like, an urge to go back and... Oh, what?! I've had the urge to kind of go back and play them to get, like, all the emeralds and stuff like that. Just because, I don't know, they're fun. And they kind of invite that, like, hey, play this game again, you know? Usually they're so short that you're like, yeah, I do want to play it again. Yeah! That was an interesting battle. I like that. What if you play this level with just Sonic? What, do, like, does Tails still appear or do you just... Die. <gasps> Carnival night! Yes! I fucking love the music here. So this is one of the few soundtracks in the game where I'm like, as soon as I heard this for the first time ever, I'm like, I gotta get this fucking song. I, I think that a lot of people don't like this song on this level, but I do. <laughs> I don't know about the level, I mean, the song at least. And the aesthetic, it's very, it's like Casino Night, except it's with a slightly different twist. It's a carnival now, which I also super like. I mean, look at the... I know I say it every game, but look at the background, isn't that cool? I mean, you can't really see it from up here, but... <gasps> These guys! Oh my god, yes. I'm gonna say that for every enemy. Be like, oh my god, that guy, I can't believe it, what a glow up! I've always loved as well, I never really mentioned it before, but how each stage in Sonic has unique enemies, but mainly only appear in those acts, which I really love. I think that's so cool. You're not gonna see that in a lot of games, you know? And I suppose that even now, thinking about it, Sonic games don't really do that anymore, having unique enemies. I mean, it's hard to design enemies for every single stage, but I don't know. I kind of love it. Man, this whole place reminds me of those like fun houses as a kid that I went to where it was sort of like this huge like foam maze that only a kid could fit through and it, it felt gigantic. They had it in this kind of like big warehouse thing. It's so hard to describe because I can't remember any words and I'm really bad at articulating myself. It's giving me that oft forgotten feeling of childlike wonder and fun. Oh, by the way, guys, I want to also say that this is very important to me. This is necessary to know. You see this animation of Sonic spinning around with tails and one of these fucking things? Whenever I think of the phrase Sonic 3, this exact image pops into my mind. I don't know why but this is it right here. This right here is Sonic 3. Slap the sticker on it right there. Sonic 3. Should have just had that as the cover. It's gonna make Angel Island Zone the uh, thumbnail because, you know, it's the one they used in Generations, but uh, I don't know, maybe I should make a carnival night because fuck you. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? I'm a little concerned here. I, I, I don't know how to hit this freaking guy and the stage is falling and Sonic's getting pissed off of me. Oh, I did it, I guess. I don't know how. I, I, that's the first boss, I will admit, that I don't even remotely know what just happened. Really, they added water in this level, though? Come on. Of all the levels to have water in, this is the one you picked? I don't know, I just feel like it's, it feels extremely inappropriate to me to have water in a level like this. What about a carnival screams water? Oh, I suppose you could have, like, the dunk the man who's getting paid minimum wage. Sonic? Sonic! Just... Just... get the... Fuck! <laughs> oh, secret? Secret bubble shield, okay. I'm always secretly hoping for those special stages because you never know, this might be the game! I'm rapidly running out of chances to get supersonic in any of these games. Oh yeah, 
Physics, baby. More. No, it's supposed to be going down. I think Tails is ruining this for me. This is, uh, now I'm starting to see why some people find this level annoying, I think. What the? What the? Did you see that? You can do a little fire dash? I didn't know that. Dude, that's so cool. I am never gonna remember I have that. Dude, I think I'm kind of stuck, honestly. I don't know how to get past this. I'm gonna go backwards just because I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> okay, apparently I can't. So, like, I'm assuming you want to use the physics. You want to, like, bounce up as high as you can. But... It's all out of sync. Every time I land on it, it's at the wrong position to be able to do that. And also, I think Tails is fucking me up. Tails, stop fucking me up, dude. Fuck. Man, you really need a lot of height. Is this possible to do with Tails? I am, uh, really struggling here. Tails! What the fuck do you do? I, I don't understand. Like, am I just in the wrong area? Like, I, I don't get it. No. Let me out. Let's stop. Okay, I, fuck. Just stop, stop. No, I'm just going backwards now. This is where I came into this area. I don't get it. You can't get enough height to get up there. So am I trying to push it down? Maybe? That did not hit me! Look at that! I'm not being hit by anything there! Let me out of this hell! Let me out. Let me out, please. I'm running out of time, dude. Okay, at least I think I fucking- At least I think I found the way forward now. That's- It's cool. It's funny! Funny bounces. Makes me go haha. -ha. Fuck- Oh, a checkpoint. Thank fuck. Oh, it's Knuckles. Hello. Yes. Do something. But I only have- I- I'm only nine minutes already. I can't- I can't- I don't know if I can beat this level in time. I- I- I ran out of time. Wow. That is the first time I have ever run out of time in a Sonic level before. That's, uh... Wow. They really did that, huh? <laughs> Gotta say, it's, uh, I'm surprised. It's just because I got stuck at that one part where I, it looked like, at least, that the only way that I could progress was by using the, uh, using one of those swirly things to go up or down, but it just wasn't working, and I don't know if it was because of me not timing it correctly, which, you know, I'm not the best at timing thing, okay. I also feel like Tails was fucking me up real bad. Again, I don't really understand why they would put water <laughs> In a in a level like this, it feels very thematically inappropriate to me. <laughs> no, no, get me off of these. I, I've had enough of them now. <laughs> what the fuck just happened there? <laughs> I would really like to see a speedrun of this level in particular, because this is the first level that just feels like a pain to get through. <laughs> Wait, I can't go that way? What? Why can't I go this way? That's so weird. What? Wait, what? Well, where do I go? I can't go this way. Okay, wait, no, you can go that way, but you have to spin dash. That is strange, isn't it? The music, the aesthetics, and just all the colors and everything of this level, I really love. But the actual level itself... <gasps> no, don't make me do one of these, dude. You don't understand what you're doing to me. <laughs> wait, really? Wait a second, guys. Holy shit, I've gotten the keys to the kingdom. Nobody told me this is what it was. Holy fuck a moly. Suddenly this level just went from one of my least favorite ever to a totally fine level. All you gotta do is just press up and down while you're on it. You don't have to jump or do any of that nonsense. Holy fuck, that makes life so much easier. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Look at him go! Oh. Okay, so that whole time I was trying to do the jumping physics and I'm sure everyone at home was screaming at the screen, all you gotta do is just push it up and down. At which point, yeah, you're right, that does make it a billion times easier. But, I'm gonna tell you something right now. In my opinion, if that was the intended thing to do, which it obviously is, Oh, I found another secret stage, yes. I feel like they should have made it that nothing happens when you jump on it, because that way you could be like, okay, I jump on this, nothing happens at all, therefore, 
you know, it's reasonable to think that, oh, all right, you know, jumping on it is clearly not what you're supposed to do, but that's not what happens. Jumping on it does give you feedback, and therefore, I would argue that it's reasonable then to assume that what you gotta do is keep jumping on it and get the physics to work, which they almost never will. I don't know, I'm sure everyone's got their own opinions on Carnival Night Zone and whether or not that is, like, good or bad or whatever. I think it's okay now that I actually know what I'm doing, but, like, I don't know, I was having a really fucking bad time for a solid minute there. <laughs> Does the- I know that uh, it all speeds up uh, as you go along. Does it speed up depending on how many balls you have, or just from time, or rings? I don't know, I'm presuming time. But hey, we already got five Chaos Emeralds at Carnival Night 2 or whatever. Still, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to beat the level in time. Look at my fucking timer, dude. Hey, Knuckles. Okay, you pressed yet another button. <laughs> but, uh, what? 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 I didn't go that way. I guess I'm gonna have to fight a boss in 40 seconds. Oh, fuck me, man. I think I'm just done for. Yep, there I go. Another timeout. Damn, dude. Twice in one zone. They do not fuck around in Carnival Night Zone, let me tell you what. What happens in Carnival Night Zone stays in Carnival Night Zone, if you know what I'm saying. Even this boss fight is a time waste. I'm sure it is a quicker way to defeat him, but... I find that his hitbox is so strange in where you can actually attack him that it's easier and safer to just wait. And... Like, like that. Like, I did know that Carnival Night Zone did have a bit of an infamous uh, reputation, but uh, man, I, it's one of those things you really have to experience it to uh, to fully understand, I guess, which is, you know, expected. I guess it's one of those things where, like, my whole life, I, like I said, I've seen the visuals, I've heard the music, and I thought, man, this zone is so cool. People who think it's bad, they just, they don't even know, man, as someone who's never played it. It's like, when I play it myself, I'm gonna see the true beauty in it. And I still kind of do, to be honest. There we go, at last. Carnival Night Zone. Done at last, baby. When I was looking up uh, how to do that freaking <laughs> confusing bit, I just found a whole bunch of people who said like, Yeah, I loved Sonic 3 as a kid, but I got stuck at Carnival Night Zone and never beat it because of that. <laughs> oh, Ice Cap! Yeah! Oh, now this is some iconic fucking music. Another thing I know about uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles that I don't fully understand is something something music Michael Jackson something something. So, like, Michael Jackson helped make some of the music, but then... Either due to copyright or due to some of the controversy Michael Jackson was finding himself in, they decided against it. And so the soundtrack for this game is weirdly infamous because certain songs were cut and certain songs were added later and remixed. And I don't know, what I'm trying to say is like, I feel like I've seen versions of this game where they changed the music for this. And I thought it was because this song was one of the Michael Jackson songs, but I don't think it is now. This music's iconic as fuck, so I mean, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is that I really like this music. <laughs> as does everyone, basically. I can already tell you, this zone, in terms of just sheer level design and platforming, is leagues better than the Carnival Night Zone. I've never been a big fan of snow and ice levels. I I've just never been a fan of cold things in general, I suppose. But it's uh, certainly a breath of fresh air from the shit I just went through. <laughs> we'll say that now that I know how to get through Carnival Night Zone, I kind of do want to play it again already because, like, now that I have the keys to the kingdom, I bet I could beat the level without any timeouts. <laughs> oh, you know what? We gotta push this that way. Oh, no, I'm going into a bonus stage instead. <laughs> Can't change my trajectory, I don't think. Okay, well, also, I want to say these platforms that you have to kind of hit and, like, come out with enough momentum to fling up is another extremely cool and inspired concept. Oh, golly! Oh, look, we're going outside now! Oh, that's cool! Who's this guy? There's a lot of battles here where you kind of just gotta wait a while. He is just high enough as well that you can only hit him, like, once, if you're quick. There's gotta be something I'm missing with these fights, man. There we go. It's turning to daytime again. This game is a fucking day-night cycle, dude. <laughs> so it seems like each elemental shield gives you like an extra thing. So this one kind of gives me like a double jump. Interesting. The flame one gives you a fire dash in the air. Bubble one, I guess, is the one that makes you do the, the bounce bracelet thing. I guess by just by default, you have like a different thing. <laughs> I guess that, like, does a, th a thing? I don't know. It's gonna be really hard for me to remember that, but again, it's one of those things where it's like, if I remember, like, what each one of these things do, and then play this game again, knowing what's kind of coming up, and, like, maybe what shields would be useful, and, like, and actually remembering how they work, and, like, what they can assist you with, that- that would be really cool. Whoa! Oh my god, I got so many rings there, the game slowed down. Up, <laughs> oh, next boss. Oh, now it's starting to snow. Eggman? 
Yeah. I feel like we could have beaten like six stages <laughs> in the time it took us to beat Carnival Night Zone because this zone went by way fast. All right, where are we going to now? Launch base zone. Oh. Oh shit. I think launch base is actually where my book ends. Because my, my book is only Sonic 3, so I reckon we're about to get to the end of Sonic 3, but not Sonic 3 and Knuckles. We might only be getting to the halfway point now. Oh look, there it is. So to my understanding, you had the death egg in Sonic 2, which got destroyed. Okay. But then he's rebuilding it in this, I guess. So this would be the death egg 2, I guess, even though there's been so many different Death Egg 2s and no one can decide what's what. <laughs> like, in fact, there was a new Death Egg in Sonic the Fighters. I don't know how much uh, of that game Sega considers to be uh, canon. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Oh, Tails, bro! Does that thing come back? The Tails just fuck me on this? Yeah, wow, you cannot miss that or else I think you just <laughs> lose, basically. Oh, I see, so it's like a little switch to activate these rooms. Don't you fucking dare, Tails, I swear to God. Now understanding why people uh, don't really play with Tails as much in these games. <laughs> I love the way he just looks at the screen with that smirk like... <laughs> I'm go go going guys stop telling me I do love the side of the death egg in the background It's so vast. I love the scope of it, dude It was such a minor thing in Sonic 2 that I'm really glad they did bring it back though I feel like they bring it back too much like Sonic 3 I think it's cool how they utilize it because it's like kind of this ever-present thing at least after this point to my understanding While in Sonic 2 you don't even really see it from the outside I don't even know if it had a proper design maybe in like the instruction manual or something it did But I'll tell you something though playing this level is interesting because it's kind of making me think back to Sonic 1 And it's interesting to see how much we've progressed from then, you know Like this game is virtually its own thing comparatively to Sonic 1 It's, it's, it's like obviously it's still Sonic but like they've evolved the formula and improved on it in so many ways but yeah, I was saying before, I love that the Death Egg comes back in this game because it was very underutilized in Sonic 2. But after that, I don't know. I think the concept is cool, but they kind of just kept bringing it back over and over. Like, it's in fucking Sonic Forces again. Like, I don't know, it just feels like a crutch. Like, don't get me wrong, I like going to space in Sonic games, and I think the Space Colony arc is probably like a really good happy medium where it's like kind of a death egg but also not because it wasn't created by Eggman but also was created by Eggman's grandfather maybe. I mean the thing is still kind of shaped like his head. And don't get me wrong I would I love that there are constant excuses to go into space in Sonic games but I just oh what the fuck he's got a cartoon ass bomb <laughs> of all the ways for him to fuck with you he just has a cartoon bomb straight out of freaking Tom and Jerry. Oh Eggman fight time? Uh, Okay, is there gonna be three or? No, that was it. Okay, that, that boss was really easy. <laughs> Bosses in these games are so weird. They're either really annoying, weirdly time consuming, or it's so easy that you ask yourself, was that, was, was that it? <laughs> are we getting closer to the death egg now? Are we kind of having like a shift in perspective? Are we now heading towards it or are we still kind of heading to the right? If it was me and I want an excuse to constantly go to space in Sonic games, I would just say like the death egg is just always there and they don't explode it every time. This seems more, you know, plausible. What? 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 Oh, I found a little secret. Hold on. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't have done that. Hold on. You want to go in before you do that. Hey, they somehow keep finding excuses to put him into water. Come on, man. I mean, admittedly, if you're just running through it and you don't have to scavenge for bubbles, it's much more tolerable for sure. But I don't know, man. If it was me designing these games, I'd just try and avoid them as much as possible. I feel like that's a very soft brain Sonic take. It's just like, oh, water is bad in Sonic. I just think about the classic Reggie quote. And I don't find the water in these games to be very fun. Unless you're just zooming through it and water is really serving more as like a set piece than an actual gameplay thing, then it's fine. Sorry guys, I've got a dent in my head. I did notice that in Sonic 2 when you were going super speed, the camera couldn't even keep up with you, but in this game it can. Which is better? Question mark? Bubble Shield also makes the water better. Like, don't get me wrong, again, the water is way better than it used to be. All the water levels have been made with like considerations in mind to make them more tolerable. I still think that they didn't really need to exist at all. <laughs> Or if they did, I don't know, you know, water levels can be fun in games. More often than not, water is just a hindrance in games and that kind of sucks. Is this the fight? What are we doing here? Oh, oh, dude, the bounce ball can probably... Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Oh, that's- Whoa, whoa! I've become the new Eggman. I've dethroned the king. Oh, hey, Knuckles. 
Hey. <laughs> Don't fucking hit. <laughs> oh, the rocket ship's launching, dude. Are we getting on board? We're just casually floating on past. We've usurped the king. We have become the new Eggmans. Also, by the way, I know I keep saying Eggmans, and I say that because I think it sounds funny. I'm sure it's not, but I did anyway. <laughs> One boss right into another. So would this then be like the final boss in Sonic 3? Is that what I'm getting? Am I getting am I getting hints of final boss from Sonic 3 in there? Kind of swirl it around in my mouth a little bit. Hmm, hmm, yeah. I kind of thought the Tails would be good for boss fights because he could deal more hits and he kind of does, I guess. But I don't know, he's just been kind of letting me down. There we go. <laughs> you didn't even have anything to attack me that time, dummy. Oh, uh, Tails, we are falling. I think we are falling. I think we are about to die. Tails, you want to do anything? We're just going to stand there? Oh! What? It's the... When did it go up? What, did we just go up with it then? It went into space? Why is it falling down now? I have a lot of questions. Maybe that ties into Knuckles' story? Oh, this is the first level of Sonic and Knuckles, right? So I think we're into the second game now. We're at the halfway point, boys. Look at him being all shifty-eyed. What are you hiding in there, boy? Oh, just a special stage, sure. Uh, what? This is not the special stage. Wait, was I supposed to have all the emeralds by now? Uh... What? Huh? What? Blue spheres? Why am I doing this? Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. So, what do I... Oh... Wait, what's that then? Super Emerald? What? I am very confused. Tails, you know what the fuck just happened? My guess is that if you had all the Chaos Emeralds from Sonic 3, if you get all of those, the special stages in the and Knuckles portion, you can get like hypersonic or whatever. I feel like that's it. But yeah, because my uh, my old book was only based on Sonic 3, this part of the game I'm not as familiar with. I do know that this is apparently a very iconic level though. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's like the Carnival Night Zone thing. Just gotta do up and down on the pad. By the way, I know that uh, Knuckles also has his own little uh, story in these games, and I don't know if I'm gonna do that on camera. Uh, I'll probably do it in my own time. Although, I mean, if people really wanna see me play through Knuckles' story, I'm unfamiliar how different his levels are. I know that like levels like this he does, but like in his own way, I think, or a different portion of it, and you can kind of see like how they connect or something. I'm honestly just still reeling over the fact that the death egg appeared to just like fall out of the sky for seemingly no reason. I didn't even see it like I guess it launched up with the rocket we were on but then it just fell out of the sky I guess because we defeated Eggman. Whatever his device was it didn't seem to have anything to do with what we did. I'm wondering if like if you don't have all the chaos emeralds is there a point for going for the, the rest of them. Yeah, what I need to do is look up more videos on like, what is the exact difference between these games and what differentiates them and stuff. Oh, look at this guy. Is that it? Oh. Yet again, another super easy boss. I guess again, because we're technically playing another game. We've gone back to like, Basically, what is stage one, I guess? Oh, there he is again. He's got a comical lever with a big red knob on it. Are you freaking kidding me? It's like autumn theme now. Dude. Another question is, how much of this game takes place on Angel Island? Are we still on it? Have we been on it the entire time? Like, I'm pretty sure when you land on the beach at the beginning, you're landing on the beach of Angel Island. It has crashed into the sea, I guess, because Eggman stopped the Master Emerald from working by stealing the Chaos Emeralds, thus causing it to crash. I guess. I'm trying to apply the logic that I know from the adventure games to these ones, and I don't know how well that works. Pretty sure if I'm not mistaken that the way that the Angel Island works is that as long as the Master Emerald is like intact and like happy, then Angel Island stays in the sky. Otherwise, it's in the ocean. What am I doing here? There we go. Oh, okay, finally figured it out. <laughs> don't look at my timer, please. It's embarrassing. Oh, look at that! Now it's turning into a kind of like a winter or slightly more dried up. Dude, I love this! Now, because it's generally considered that Sonic 3 and Knuckles are kind of like one of the same and most people play it all at once, I would presume that like most people are like, okay, yeah, this is the one that you play. But are there any people who are like, I love like Sonic and Knuckles, but I fucking hate Sonic 3, right? Is there anyone like that? Oh, a little radio show. Oh, look at that! Everyone thing went green. I see. It was like sapping the life out of this place. Gotta go jump through the hoops. 
I get it. This would have blown my mind as a kid. I'm sure there are people who grew up only with one game or the other. Oh, we're going on. Oh shit, I did not expect that. Oh, the music here. Oh yeah, this is another iconic one. I've grown an affinity for these shields for sure. Now that I think about it, the flame dash is a lot like just the kind of mid-air homing attack that you can do in the Sonic Adventure games. I like how they kind of reincorporated the uh, elemental shields in their own little way. Like you got the bubble shield with the bounce bracelet, flame shield with the kind of homing dash that you can kind of do. Uh, what did the electric one do? I mean, the electric shield is just straight up in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, so I mean, you know. <laughs> so it allows you to have a double jump. I don't think it does in the Sonic Adventure games. I'm like 99% confident, but now I'm, I'm like, did it actually have a double jump this whole time and I didn't even know? Oh, what? Wait, oh no, this is a bad one. Oh, that's really clever. I like that. Uh, oh, shit. Magnets. Fucking magnets, how do they work? So am I the one activating the magnets? Oh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Seems like they just <laughs> do whatever they feel like. Oh, another subversion of expectations with the capsules. I really like how this game like is putting its own spin on the formula and kind of subverting expectations from what is already pre-established. This is a very interesting mechanic. Each one of these levels have had their own like thing going on. I kind of love it. I mean, I suppose every level in every one of these games has got their own thing and they're all so creative and interesting. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Sonic Mania is, is like. Real capsule? Nope. Oh, oh. Okay, I think I know this boss. You gotta let it hit itself, like a dumbass. He is not learning from his mistakes. Not even remotely. I mean, he is a robot, what can you expect? Robots literally do what they're programmed to do. That kind of reminds me actually of that, uh, you know that robot that like constantly spills out liquid that looks like blood and all it does all day is just keep slurping up the blood and doing little dances. But then it just kind of got tired doing the, the same thing every single day for years and eventually slowly broke down in a dramatic death. And everyone's like, this is the greatest piece of modern art ever. You guys know that thing? Anyway. <laughs> Sonic 3, am I right? It's kind of interesting. I, I don't necessarily know if I feel like the electric shield is the better one in this game. I remember loving it in Sonic Adventure. It's like the best shield you can get in that game. But in this game, it's like, it's nice, but it doesn't feel as necessary. I guess if you're like more worried about lives, it's probably a better thing to have. Being able to like collect so many rings so easily. I'm not gonna lie, I think my favorite is probably Bubble Shield. Well, fuck that. I think it's just because the Bubble Shield is uh, simultaneously lets you survive underwater, but also lets you do the bounce ball, which is like my favorite thing you can do in Sonic Adventure 2, as it is for a lot of people, especially speedrunners. Is it just me, or are the levels a little longer in Sonic and Knuckles? I mean, it's only, my time's only at two minutes and like 30 seconds, which is not a lot. But I don't know, I just feel like there's more meat to these levels' bones, you know what I'm saying? My palms are fucking sweaty, dude, and I'm all out of my mom's spaghetti. Oh, shit. Wait, isn't this the boss, the, the boss from Sonic 2? Uh, oh. Just gotta let him destroy his own base. Very clever, Eggman. <laughs> Get him, Sonic. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I guess I just have to wait for it here. Interesting. Oh, and it's also moving at the same time. I like that. So you're not just having to wait. You gotta actually keep on your toes just a little bit. Oh, shit. This is certainly a uh, interesting contraption, Eggman. Very specific use. But I mean, hey, I'm glad you got something out of it. Well, <laughs> another easy boss. Ah, gotta close my blinds. Too hot. Oh, speaking of, oh, Sandopolis. I really like the aesthetic of this level just because I feel like there hasn't really been a level like this before. I guess there's, I guess there's oil ocean somewhat, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting that there never felt like there's been like a desert level before. Then again, Ice Cap might also be one of a kind, so I don't know. Oh, look at that. I like that this time the entire screen has that kind of wave effect rather than just the sun because it's fucking blistering hot, dude. I imagine when this video comes out, it actually might be around summertime in America or the Northern Hemisphere. It's actually just about to be summertime when I'm recording this right now. Summertime in Australia, that is, which is, of course, in the Southern Hemisphere. Don't tell anybody this, okay? But it's currently November 25th, 2021. I right, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Could probably just, you know, jump down. There isn't, it's not like there's full damage or anything in this game. This reminds me of the spider ball in Metroid 2. These levels are surely bigger than normal. What is this, Wario Land 4? <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep making references to the video game. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Maybe you gotta hit his head? Oh, okay, maybe that's what you gotta do. Just hit the head. Maybe I've gotta like, hit him into the sand or something. Come on, dude, I only got two minutes. I ain't got all day. Take your fucking time. Now. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, it's all dark in here. This is a nice change of pace. A very good color palette change. I like it. Ooh. What the fuck? It's a ghost. Little cartoon ghost character. Look at him go. Dude, I love that. That's so cute. Oh, no, he's mad now. This is a bit like Pyramid Cave, actually, from uh, Sonic Adventure 2, where you kind of got to time the doors opening, I guess. Oh, no, not the ghosts. I need a light. Oh, there it is. Just in time. It's almost as if the game designers anticipated such a thing. Excuse me, game. There appears to be ghosts. Ghosts of a feather. They're spooking together. Oh, thank you, Tails. <laughs> I was just like, oh, shit, I forgot it. <sighs> Tails has actually been helping out a lot in this level. He's been remembering to actually hit the ghost timer. Oh, uh, shit. Hello. Which is rare for me to say because he's done nothing but being a big pain in my ass the whole time. <laughs> this is kind of a stressful level, though. I'll give it that. Oh, God. Oh, no. Now they're getting really mean. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I really do love those ghost designs, though, I must say. <laughs> if I was to design a ghost character, that, that classic little, you know, two dots on a sheet. It's very, very funny to me. Man, this level is long, dude. It's been seven minutes. Uh, hello? Okay. <laughs> oh, I did it. Okay, that one was a lot more intense. I was kind of quiet the whole time because I was really focusing. Uh, is that a normal Chaos Emerald? Oh. Huh. Do I keep my other ones or is this just, do I have to go back to the place? Oh, golly. Presuming I gotta use this hand, like, Oh, hello! That was a really funny reveal. I don't remember this boss at all. Yes! 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 Did you see that? I got so many freaking hits, dude. Yeah! <laughs> it's a fun little reveal. Woo! Alrighty. I reckon that's Sandopolis done. Alright, we're falling underground to Lava Reef Zone. Oh, jeez, Tails. Do you think we're gonna have to deal with any more g g g g ghosts Look! Look in the background there! You see that? Uh, there. There. And, oh, wow, well, well, I did not expect that. You can see the freaking death egg back there, dude. Uh, excuse me, did I just get hit by an eye on a stalk? I really love that you can see the death egg back there. That is so cool. Because I do know that later in this the very same level gets even cooler. You know, this is reminding me of Marvel Zone from uh, Sonic 1 and how kind of boring that level was visually and how this one is just so much more interesting and like thought and consideration has been put into it. Oopsie daisies. Oh, Eggman's. <laughs> uh, alright. It just took all my rings. I want to leave Mr. Eggman's wild ride. I want to get off Mr. Eggman's wild ride. I want to get off Mr. Eggman's wild ride. I'm just going to stop pressing buttons. See where it takes me. Okay. <laughs> Apparently that's where it took me. <laughs> Out. Yeah, interesting. Man, you know, from for a character who's got a fairly limited moveset, they really get the most out of this. They've thought of so many creative ways to just, like, create different things to interact with. It, like, ways to... Oh, golly. Different things that, like, the spin dash can interact with. Things that work with his momentum and stuff. Just, like, all different kinds of machines and stuff. I, I think it's just really cool. Like, with this, so it's like, okay, this is affected by your spin dash, but also the direction you're going. I think that's just really clever. I saw an electric shield back there, and if I'm gonna be honest, it's I, I just feel like it's probably a better idea to stick with the flame shield, considering this place is literally called Lava Reef Zone. Honestly, the fire shield is really carrying me through this level right now. Like, nothing can... Wait, have I been here before? Yes. I went in a huge circle. What the fuck? Okay, I guess I should have been going this way the whole time. How the hell did I do that? When's all these locations already? How the hell did I end up right back where I started? That's so weird. I, I didn't expect to kind of pull a bit of a Sonic CD and make it so you can accidentally loop all the way back around again. Oh, look, I can just deflect the bullets with my flame shield. Oh my god! Wait, am I just immune? I don't even have to jump. <laughs> they just can't hit me. <laughs> it's because of my sick ass flame shield, dude. I will say, without the flame shield, I'm sure this fight's a nightmare because those bullets are slightly hard to see with all this lava in the background. Hey, there we go. Destroyed the infamous three fingered hand. Eight minutes. That was almost nine minutes long, that level. I mean, I did go around in a big loop, but oh, the lava turned off. Eggman's boxes. Look at his little face. He's so happy. <laughs> Destroy my computer, Sonic. You won't. I'll do what I want. Ah! I'm keeping this flame shield forever. I am not getting rid of this thing. It's saving me everything. I can see why people love these so much. Bubble shield. Ew. No. I was literally just singing the praises of the flame shield. Please do not show your face while I'm... I gotta get that back. I feel like there's like been approximately 200,000 million times that I've been like, oh, I love this thing and I'm doing well. And then I got hit. There it is. 
off in the distance. We're even closer to it now. Oh, that is so fucking cool, dude. That is honestly such a cool sight, though. I love that it gives you a moment so you can actually see it and, like, take it in. Ah, uh, oh. Oh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Wait, now we are falling down? What? Oh my god, it's even closer. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. He's in that little thing. Oh, he's in the background. Oh, I see. Look at it in the background there. How is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your freaking life? I love how it, it gets the scope of it with its shadow, right? And you can see those tiny little, little yellow dots that indicate, you know, little windows to really give you an idea of its of its huge fucking scale. That's It's just so cool. We're not gonna have that in the background. We're gonna go into this shit. Oh, I just let him hit himself. Sure. Just an FYI, game design is that isn't actually how lava works in real life. You know what I really hate? I'm gonna go on a completely random tangent, but like, you know how silencers work? Where they don't actually silence the gun, they don't go pew, pew. They actually just make it go bang, but less loud. And everyone's like, Hollywood's got it wrong. Silencers don't actually silence guns. And it's like, yeah, but it's Hollywood. It's already fake. Whether or not the general populace believes it or not, it usually works for the narrative device of the film. Yes, it's an invention by Hollywood, but like, they didn't invent it just to be wrong, they invented it because it's more interesting than what an actual silencer is. My issue is just that I feel like people, when they say that, they're like, this is an issue that needs to be addressed. Once again, by destroying the thing, I've frozen all the lava. I'm sure I've talked about it before as well on YouTube, but I don't know if you've ever looked up like videos of lava or whatever, but I love the difference in the kind of videos you'll find. So one day I was watching like a video that's like, you know, these professionals, scientists and stuff like that looking at some lava and they have all these like these huge like suits on and everything to like prevent themselves from uh, getting burnt. All this like hazard equipment. And then in the recommendations right next to it was a video that was like literally some teenagers just in like shorts and a t-shirt poking it with a stick. Oh look, you can still see it out there. Wait, is it leaving? Is it? I know it does eventually leave, but this level is very simple. Oh fuck! I'm gonna have to add in the sound effect. You know what it is. Oh no! I'm sure I'm not the only person who's added in the sound effect here. I'm sure there's probably like a mod to add it in in every game where you fight Knuckles. <laughs> He's fucking dead. Oh, we're back here. Oh, sick. Look, it's my one Chaos Emerald. <gasps> He's still in the Master Emerald. Yeah, kill him, Knuckles. Yeah! Take it down! It's gonna drill into his head! Holy shit! Well, that's fucked up. His lying down sprite just straight up looks like he's fucking dead. Ah, uh, here it is. The zone. The music. You know it. You love it. Sky Sanctuary Zone. There it is. Ba -ba. Look at it. And I love the way when it was coming up how the clouds kind of like hang off it for a second. Ooh, that's... I love it. Now, if any of you have seen that one video, you know what I'm talking about. Where you do that. And then, and then he does that, yeah! Secret animation. That's right. I'm actually a Sonic 3 fucking champion, dude. I know everything about this game. I've been fooling you guys the whole time. I've actually played all these games before. I have not played them all before. I don't, I don't want to imply right at the very end. <laughs> so I've seen some people say that like, they shouldn't have picked this zone, or like, this wouldn't have been people's first pick for a zone to use to represent the Sonic 3 and Knuckles level in uh, Generations. I mean, this is probably the most unique stage so far, I guess. <gasps> Mecha Sonic! There he is! He's doing the original Eggman boss! Why is he doing that? Still just as bad at this boss as I was the first time I got for him. But I hope we get to fight Mecha Sonic. I know you, I think at least you have to fight him with Knuckles. But I'm not 100% sure. Plus this music is just so, like, iconic, man. Ah, fuck. I don't know, what's the general consensus of, uh... Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. What's the general consensus from the, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles fans who, uh, you know... What, what level would they have picked if not Sky Sanctuary? I'm legitimately curious because, I don't know, this, this level seems iconic to me, but it's probably only iconic because of Generations, I guess? I don't know. It's interesting to think about. We're gonna have another boss fight? Oh, it's gonna be like all the boss fights from like, I was gonna say from Sonic 1, but I don't think this one was from Sonic 1, was it? Oh, he's even got little bubble versions of himself! Look at the little fucking- This game is just a bundle of fun and a barrel of laughs. What are you gonna do now, man? You got nothing left. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Why is it that Metal Sonic took off, but not Mecha Sonic? Now, don't get me wrong, I love Metal Sonic. I love him. Why is Mecha Sonic given such little love in the Sonic games? I know that people love him outside of the games, of course they do. They also love the Silver Sonic from Sonic 2, but in the games themselves, they seem to ignore this guy as much as possible. So Metal Sonic's just taken the mantle as 
Well, the Metal Sonic. So that right there is bullshit. Do you see that? That is bullshit. My rings did not even leave my body. This is cool, man. Why wouldn't you want this in Generations? <laughs> I don't understand. Maybe it's because it's kind of like a, a really late game level and people think it's a bit weird to show off one of the later levels. But then again, Perfect Chaos was in it. So like, what do you, like, I don't know. Oh, there we go. That's Mecha Sonic down but not out is he gonna like go away and then fight knuckles in his story because i'm pretty sure he's the last boss of knuckles story right we're going into the death egg oh look at that look at all the little details on that death egg zone here we go love the background here no i've said that about 200 000 million times throughout this whole playthrough but look at that it's perfectly captured this like spherical slash cylindrical shape of being inside the death egg and still like coming across as being massive and having distance to it and stuff i honestly i look at that background i'm like i want to recreate that in like fucking minecraft or something <laughs> Oh, god damn it. Well, failed immediately. <laughs> I don't know what you can, can even get from those bonus stages, but I, whatever it is, I'm not doing it, apparently. Oh, these are like anti-gravity balls. That's interesting. I thought they were just spike balls. Can those things even harm you? These things? I don't think so. <laughs> I think they just kind of fuck you up a little bit. They're giving you all these moments to like learn how they work, I guess. <gasps> oh, oh, the electric shield prevents you from being electrocuted. That makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Wow, that makes this whole area a lot easier. Alright, well, never mind. I'll just take that back then. Whatever. Fuck me. No, I- no, 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 fuck me. Fuck you! God, what the heck is happening here? Where am I trying to go? Where am I heading towards? What are my goals in life? Maybe I gotta press all these buttons on this middle thing, I guess? I made all of those red. Does that do anything? I don't know. Oh, that's open now. Holy shit. The background reminds me of... It reminds me of in The Empire Strikes Back when Luke and Vader are on Cloud City and they have that really cool painting of a background. I'll, uh, I'll put it on screen so you can see what I'm talking about because, again, I'm really bad at articulating myself today. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing myself out at this stage. Seems to be working well enough. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I kind of just brute forced my way through that one. Oh, it's not done yet. Oh, I did it. Okay, I don't... <laughs> I really truly brute forced my way through that one. I really don't know what I was doing that whole time. Oh shit! Oh, we're in space now, baby! Death Egg Zone 2. I think this might be it, guys. This might be the last zone of them all. Fuck me. Shit, we're upside down? You can't just throw that on a guy. You gotta get to know him first. What the? You gotta get to know someone before you flip them upside down and just expect them to complete an entire Sonic 3 level. Can I go back to normal, please? Yeah. <laughs> I'm familiar with this gravitational pull. Now we're on my home turf. Oh, this is insanity. This is too much. Come on, man. Come on. What the fuck? I feel like I'm saying what the fuck too much. I should say something like s'mores, dude. Is that a reference to something? I do not know. <laughs> Don't ask me, okay? I, I literally have no idea what's going on. This is another catchphrase of mine. Damn it. Duh, I don't know what's going on. Duh. That's me. That's my impression of me, asshole. Here's what you do. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> ah, sh Can I just say that? I do like the earth back there. I admire the restraint to, you know, use tons of vibrant colors, but instead keep it a bit muted. It makes it seem more atmospheric and interesting that way, in my opinion. Not to say that it wouldn't have been interesting if it was like far more vibrant colors, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's unique. And you could also argue it's like, oh, Eggman sucked the life out of the world or whatever. <laughs> oh my God. This is it! The final boss, the Egg Ball. To my understanding, you gotta like change gravity or something at like the exact right moment. Like that, go! Th did that work? I do not know. Do I just keep going backwards and forwards and just hope for the best? That's what I'm doing. This is an interesting idea for our last boss. It feels a little RNG dependent. Oh, that's cool. It's got one for Tails and one for me of those bumpers. That's kind of funny. Now! Now! Now, now, yes, okay, it right. takes 10 years to go through this thing, all right? You can't just activate it normally, you gotta be smart about it. Hold on, hold on. Yes! Oh, look at that. Hell yeah, dude. Get that fucker. Oh, the music. Oh shit, oh shit. This is it. The ultra, ultimate death egg robot. This is what the hand was the whole time. <laughs> Fuck, dude, this music is fucking badass. If I saw this site, huge ass fucking robot like this, smacking Sonic in space as a kid, the earth in the background, it's so cool. One left. Skidoosh. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Is this thing the Def Egg robot, by the way? I don't actually know what this is called. What do I do? Do I hit it? Oh, oh god. I should not have hit it. Ah! What? What is. Oh, time is over. 
Shit! That's why I keep dying. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Fuck. This is it. I know what I'm doing now. Just gotta keep hitting the Master Emerald. And not dying. I struggle to believe that kids were able to dodge that laser beam very easily. We did it. I think that's it. I think that's the game. Oh! No, it's not! Give me back that fucking emerald, you dickhead! Ah! Yeah! Come on, baby! Skadoosh! He's out of here! My Master Emerald now. Yes! I will happily fall to my death with the Master Emerald! Oh, apparently not. <laughs> Wait, where'd you get that from? This is just Sonic 2 again. Sonic CD, baby. There it is. <laughs> oh, you can see the pyramid and everything. That's kinda cool. Is it gonna go back up? Is it gonna rise back into the skies? Maybe if you only get the, uh, Super Emeralds or whatever, huh? <laughs> and look, Sonic's name is backwards on the plane. <laughs> is there a better ending screen than this? Oh, there we go. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, baby. I've been playing this game for at least 3 hours and 54 minutes, baby. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. The only time that I was legitimately kind of pissed off was Casino Night Zone, but that was only because I didn't quite understand how it works. But now they do know how it works, I kind of want to go back and prove that I can beat it quickly. It felt like the stages were a lot longer than the original games and they might have been because this is the only game I've ever come close to timing out in, and I did time out a few times but at the same time I'm kind of looking at the time here each game has taken me roughly two hours to beat considering this is technically two games being about four hours seems about right even considering I guess the time outs that I had so I don't know but yeah that that there you go I have now beaten all of the original classic Sonic games that I had never played before, I have now beaten them all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little series of mine. Um, it was all to lead up to me playing Sonic Mania, because I'm super interested in playing that game. This makes me think I should probably play it on the channel. But yeah, I guess I'll do. Pretty soon. Maybe whenever the next time a video like this should go up, it will, maybe. I don't know. I might take a break from recording, though, for a week or so, just because... My throat is killing me. <laughs> I suppose I should also do a Knuckles playthrough of this game, but I, I don't know, is it all the same levels? I know they're a little remixed to account for his uh, playstyle, but I don't know, is that something you guys would want to see? Again, I have no idea if these videos have even done well. They probably haven't because it's one of my videos. I'm recording all of these so far in advance that I have no idea. Wow, that's a... A bad sprite. <laughs> ah, and there he is with his well-earned Master Emerald. Good job, Eggman. You did well. Uh, yeah. I guess that's the ending screen for you. Alright, bye! <laughs>